Point K and point L are the centroids of triangles ABD and BDH respectively. For the given angles and lengths, we need to find the length of the line segment KL. First, we can easily calculate angle BCA as 30 degrees. Using 36 to 90 triangle, the length of the line segment AB can be found as 6 times square root of 2. Also, it can be seen that angle ADB is 45 degrees. Since triangle ABD is an isosceles triangle, sides corresponding to equal base angles should be equal, and line segment AD will also be 6 times square root of 2 units. Now remember that centroid of a triangle is the intersection point of its medians. So if we construct a median passing through point A and centroid K, it will divide the base of the triangle into two equal parts. And also it will be perpendicular to the base of the isosceles triangle. We can calculate the length of the line segment BD as 12 units using Pythagorean theorem on triangle ABD. So the equal base parts will be 6 units each. Using midpoint theorem on right angled triangles, we can see that the line segment AG will also be 6 units. Now remember another property of the centroids that they will divide the medians in 2 to 1 ratio. So line segment AK will be 4 units and line segment KG will be 2 units. Now we will repeat a similar approach on the lower triangle. Let's start with constructing a median passing through points H, L and G. Using midpoint theorem on right angled triangles, it can be seen that line segment GH will also be 6 units. Since L is the centroid, the length of the line segment GL will be 2 units and LH will be 4 units. Now we can see that angle BHG will be 15 degrees. And from exterior angle theorem, angle HGD will be 30 degrees. For the final step, let's focus on the blue shaded triangle in the middle and isolate it to work clearly. At this point, we can use cosine theorem to find the length of the line segment KL as 2 times square root of 3. Alternatively, we can drop a perpendicular from G and use 36 to 90 triangles to reach the same answer. I hope you enjoyed this nice problem. I'll see you next time.